What's going on everybody? It's Derek and we're gonna go get us some new swimwear. That's right, by immediately quitting. I really wish there was a faster way to speed this screen up. There we go. Take me to the pyramid. This really is the fastest way to sometimes do things. Instead of going through the maze and everything, just start off here. It's faster. Because then I can go over to here. And we can get some, like I said, some new swimwear. Uh, keep my hammer activated. Like I said, it does a lot more damage. Um, it does damage as if it was the uh, tempered sword that I'll be getting later. And I'll actually be doing some of the dungeons actually out of order. So, you see how uh, I can do a couple of the dungeons out of sync. So, I'm going to actually do that. And the dungeon I'll be skipping actually doesn't have an enormously useful item, except in like two places. But skipping it allows me to get a different item that'll help with that dungeon, if that makes any sort of sense. It's like by skipping a dungeon, I can actually do the dungeon faster. Because I've got a plan. The lag is real. Oh, Zora. I uh, just want the flippers? Yeah, $500 a pair. Thanks. Thanks for the flips. Thank you for the flippy flips. Let's jump over here, get that piece of heart. here this can actually go in here get a couple of new items throw an item Got the red boomerang. Can I throw it in something else? Yes. Throw an item. Throw the shield. That's right. Yes, I did drop it. And I get the fire shield. Can defend against fireballs. Goodness gracious. Actually, let's bop down here, see, there we go. Once again, back to the pyramid. Just checking dungeon order. Run! Oh, 
Okay, doing a lot of stuff here because I can, and it's a lot faster to do it this way. Okay. Normally, you'd set your spawn point not there. I've got a fairy. Don't worry. Oh, I always <clears throat> I like to carry at least one fairy at a time. Okay. I'm going to set my warp point out here. That enables me to go in here. And we'll be able to get open up this place. Didn't want to catch it. Oh well. Or I didn't want to use it, but alright. So now we've drained the water, go back in, pop this open, get some bombs. Go over here, do back up. Get my whole heart. Warp. Come into the dungeon. What? What? Get myself a key! No, I can't do some of the quick strats, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? Get the map. It's a pretty big dungeon, but it kind of coils in on itself a little bit. Grab that key. You almost like get a key, use a key. It's not a get a key, hold on to the key, wait for the key, love the key, get to know the key, maybe develop a relationship with the key. It's like get the key, shortly thereafter, use the key. Flood the waterway. And that allows us to swim up to here. Welcome to the central area of the central hub. You can't flood the key if you do it this way, but otherwise, you will soft lock the game. If you do it like that. If you flood this area first. I always wondered what those were. They look like insects or bugs. this open he's got a nice little skull and crossbones there get out of my way little worm come over here Here, we've entered another waterway area. So I'm getting bodied by everything. Get 
Thank God for the fire shield. Give me something good. No? Okay. Awesome. The big key. Not ideal. But again, I still have a fairy. That's why I like to keep as many fairies as I have bottles. Go through here. Boing! And he can grab items from afar. Tried to do a tricky strat, but it didn't work out for me. Go down here. How about the stairs give you iframes for a second? Drain the water, finally. I like to rush down here because there's more items. Mostly money, but I do need some money a little bit later. One of these is a fairy room. It's not this one. Oh well, that's fine. Money. Going up the stairs, finally. I'm going to pop in here real fast. I need some health. I'm not foreseeing any problems, but no one does. Grab that key. Let's get in there. Grab the eye, the puff balls off of him. And then slash him twice. And then you can just keep going. Why is it bodying me? I'm not sure what's going on, but... Okay. Come on. Can I do this on one heart? Or on half a heart? 
Yes! I can! And with that, we get the last crystal. And... We get to see more expositional dialogue! Yay! Yes, you can. Okay. Alright. There's some magic warping points. Yep. I can. Uh huh. Yes, I'm aware. Yes, I understand. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, I, I love you too. Alright, with that, that'll actually end this episode. So until next time, have a good one.